Well, good morning everyone. It's Russell and Rhonda from Forever Young Journeys here. A top of the morning to you all. <laughs> Where uh, are we? We <laughs> good question. We are in, like just leaving Aigle. Aigle in Switzerland. Beautiful little town. I said beautiful. I need another word. <laughs> I know everything is beautiful. Spectacular. Said it twice already this morning. Anyway, it's a sweet little town. How's that one? <laughs> I need more words. <laughs> Um, we are standing in front of the Eagle Castle, which the walk takes us to and past. Not open, unfortunately. Ooh. And all the vineyards out the back. We had some nice wine from the region last night. It was really lovely. Oh, I didn't think that beautiful there you go. No, you Getting didn't. Better. Um, we're headed to St. Maurice. We are, it's and day. it's day 18 for us on the Via. Oh, there you go, it's yeah, day 18. Day 18. <laughs> Didn't have a very good night's sleep last night, so no. we'll see what the videos are like today. Um, looking forward to the walk. Yeah, it's only be... about 17 kilometres. Yeah, there's a few hills 18, though. 18, so... but that'll blow out to 30, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, or 400. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Just to follow on, we are heading this way. Just had to take one more video before we left. Because everything's spectacularly beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Down this valley here is where we are headed. And up that mountain. Ooh. Walking high up on the hill. We've come from that track. And we're not going that one. Or that little goat track there, but I believe we're going down to a town called Ollen, but I think they said Ollon. 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 Sorry, everyone and in Switzerland. The problem with going down is I think we're going to go back up <sighs> again. Beautiful though. We oh, love the hills. Beautiful and spectacular. <laughs> I don't want to say anything. Okay. You made it! We felt like we'd been doing a bit of training back home and doing lots of kilometres, but like the hills were probably the hard thing, weren't they? We didn't have heaps of hills, certainly not many like this. Uh, I'm just about like engaging four wheel drive going down here. Um, yeah. So, and it's about like as steep as this coming back up the other way. But there, we're heading down to that little town just down there. It might be time for a little break, I think. What was it called? Olon. 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 Yeah, we just walked through Olon and we were just going to stop for a little rest on a chair. And we saw like this little cafe, it said La Fontaine. La Fontaine? Maybe means the fountain. There was one nearby. Was La Fontaine. You. It's like they tend to just look like a door. It said like bar. And we went inside okay. and we, there were like heaps of it people in there yeah. and there were pastries and food. And yeah. sometimes when you go through the little tiny door at the front, there's like, Masses of rooms behind there, isn't yeah, there? And there's yeah. people everywhere. It's busy. It's like yeah. a, it's a, for us, I guess we're from Australia. They have that outdoor culture, I guess, and everything's outdoors as much as we can be. Yeah, and when we go in there, it's always boiling hot. We have yes, to peel off a thousand layers. But um, everyone's in there having a lovely talk, and they're always very friendly and eating, and it's nice. I mean, it feels nice when you come out of that, isn't it? Yeah, it feels good. And funny story, um, when I went in. And there was like a little Swiss man sitting there and I said bonjour. <laughs> he and then didn't say anything back. No, he didn't. He was like just staring at me. <laughs> and then I looked closely and I'm like, that guy looks like Albert Einstein. <laughs> and and then I realised it was a model <laughs> of Albert Einstein. We'll pop a little photo Statue. in. You can see that it is very lifelike, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and we hadn't even been drinking wine. <laughs> anyway, La Fontaine in Olon. It was a good place to stop. Nice. Um, we just have come out uh, from a little path along like a sort of a canal 
kind of wasn't a canal, was it? It was like a river that had been, uh, had some stone banks along the sides, but we've come out and that's the Rhone River. Um, large, fast flowing, looks like it's a sort of a snowmelt type river. And there's the path we're heading on. Uh, I reckon we're about seven kilometers out of St. Maurice. Um, yeah, and so that is nice asphalt path. Looks pretty level, which is nice. We're approaching St. Maurice. Just coming into the town now. I think this is the castle. The tunnel there on your right is for the railway line. Uh, and up above there, I'm going to try and pan up, is like kind of another like fortress type thing. That's probably poorly explained. Anyway, so we'll see what is around the corner. Uh, yeah, this looks like it might be the Abbey, uh, probably just around the corner here. Hopefully that's where we're staying. Well, hopefully not right up in that bell tower. Uh, but they do have some pilgrim accommodation there. Um, we have to meet someone and, and yeah, we'll if we're wrong, you'll find out soon in the subtitles. We're inside the um, Basilica of the Abbey of St. Maurice. Um, a church has stood on this site, a Christian church, since the second century. In the third century, um, there were martyrs, Theban martyrs here, and pilgrims have come here ever since the third century. Um, they were martyred for their faith. Uh, I think they've discovered since then numerous churches here that were built on the same site um, throughout this area. Uh, there are tombs, Roman ruins, and ruins from the churches. Uh, and some of those pillars you can see along the rock face um, date back to the second and third centuries, quite astounding. And it was built literally against this rock wall. Um, the church was destroyed by a rock fall and then rebuilt. Look at those pillars that are along there. Just the history that's in these places. There's Rondra over there. We're doing an audio tour. It's pretty fascinating, actually. Like I don't know if you can see, but the bricks in there, dating from the 4th century. Amazing. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Good evening. We are finishing off our night at um, St. Maurice. Yes. Got it, I got it. Um, and we've had a really nice day. Really nice. We got here a bit earlier. The walk was really good. It's only about 18 kilometres in the end. Mm -hmm. And we even went through the archaeological site in the monastery and in the church behind us. Yes, at the was, Abbey. Yeah. In the Abbey. It was just yeah. amazing. A lot, so much history of pilgrimage and the pilgrims that have passed through here for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yes. Um, that's our accommodation, just behind us in the building. Green behind. building. Uh, and <laughs> and um, it's basic, but it's great. It's, uh, I guess, pilgrim friendly. Um, bed and a shared bathroom. But what an experience, yes. staying in somewhere like that. Yeah. I don't think we'll get that again. If you're interested, check out um, the story about the massacre of the Theban Legion. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, fascinating story. Amazing. Yeah, yeah amazing. History. Yeah, interesting, something I didn't know anything about. Um, turns out too that St. Maurice, uh, they say, is the halfway point for the Via Francigena. Yep. And probably the first town apart from Canterbury that we've come across that's kind of celebrated and acknowledged pilgrims. Yeah, yeah, yeah lots true. of signage and things too, yeah, which you'll see good. in some of the photos. Yes. Yeah. So good night. Yeah. Bonsoir. Like Bonsoir. and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.
Thank you.